Hey guys, Soka, welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. Looks like we've got snow coming up in the new year as we enter New Year's Eve. And we received a text message, of course. It's from Yosuke. Let's get everyone together and visit the shrine today. How about we meet up in front of the shrine in the shopping district? I hear they're going to hand out Amazake. We'll contact the others. I'll see you there. All right, another celebration. We can't stop celebrating because the case is closed. The Midnight Channel has been cancelled officially and Adachi is behind bars. Surprisingly enough, he was cooperative in his arrest, which I have to say is rather refreshing, to be honest. Normally, these villains end up either dead or they're protesting all the way to jail, comically, like some sort of moustache-twirling villain. And uh, Adachi may have been a moustache-twirling villain because he did it all for the lulz, but uh, I appreciate him all the more because of that, to be honest. Just the fact that you know, he didn't have an overly complex reason why he was committing the murders. It wasn't to, like, appease some god or he's trying to s prove a point. Or was, I suppose the point he was trying to prove was that life is shit and killing is the answer, which it is not. <laughs> so there's that. You'll be taking a trip to the shrine with everyone. Is Nanako coming? I hope so, because I still have to live up to that promise to make a snowman, among other things, before I go home in the spring. There's only a couple of months left. Let's make the most of it. Let's hang out at our special headquarters. Doesn't matter how old we are. It looks pretty cold outside. You recall that you have midwinter clothes in the drawers. Obtained midwinter outfit. Have to say I haven't celebrated New Year's Day in the winter before. It's always summer down here in New Zealand when New Year's arrives. In fact, it's already quite hot and it's a couple of weeks to go before we enter 2021 at long last. Tatsuhime Shrine. Damn, it's Sorry. nighttime already. Whew. Sorry to keep you waiting. Damn, Kanji. Wait, huh? Is it just you here, senpai? You flew out of there like a speed demon. What the heck? Are you all right? What was going on? Yeah, it's just me. Seriously? This is the time we all decided on, isn't it? If it is, then you're not late, are you, Kanji? If it isn't, then you are late. I was watching TV at home, but it seems like I fell asleep. Classic. When I woke up, that New Year's show, Toshi Koshi Kuro Toshi, had already started, so I rushed out here. <laughs> Sorry we're late. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, Teddy, that's a very colorful outfit. I like it. Hellos! <laughs> I'm sorry, Sensei. It's all Yosuke's fault. Oh, I'm sure it is. It was cold waiting here. <laughs> I'm gonna make him feel Come guilty. Come on, Yosuke! You owe Sensei a full apology for making us late! What did he do this time? Did he confess to more magazines under his bed? Me? It was 100% your fault! Why do I believe Yosuke straight away? <laughs> But I am sorry about making you wait. Thank you. My goodness. Where's the girls at? We had an emergency at work. Everyone had to refill all of the lucky draw bags. We just finished a second ago. I see. Because a certain someone just crammed a bunch of stuff into the bags without checking any of the prices! Man, at this point I feel like Teddy is just a liability to Juness. Why is he filling the lucky bags anyway? He should just stick to his job at being a mascot. I feel like... That's his strength. <laughs> let's, not, let's keep him away from any of the uh, Juness events that may be taking place. Unless it's a concert, in which case, uh, bring it on. <laughs> there he goes, practicing for the next concert. Because he crowd surfed like a beast last time. Talking about you, you little... <laughs> <laughs> Moving on! Hey, Sensei, where's Nana-chan and her dad? I do not know where anyone is. I just know that Kanji arrived here... Two seconds before you guys did. You doofus. You can't come out on a cold night like this. Oh yeah, they're injured. That's right. <laughs> they should probably take it easy and relax. Even though it is New Year's Day. Oh, New Year's Eve, sorry. Ojima-san and Nanako-chan just got temporarily released from the hospital for the holidays. They aren't healed yet. Hmm. Well then, where's everyone else? Why are only the guys here? Yeah, it's a bit of a sausage fist out here right now, and... Honestly, looking for my girlfriend. D don't tell me! Is this going to be some lame guy's night celebration? <laughs> no lovely girls? Teddy, I'm sure there are girls in the shrine. Hell no! <laughs> Man, they're late. They should have gotten here a while ago. Probably doing their makeup, doing their hair. I wonder if they're all meeting up at Yukiko-senpai's house first. I would not be surprised. If they are just chilling out in the hot bath, which I am still resentful for. You know, like to put on their kimonos? Kimonos? <laughs> did you hear that, S -s -s Sensei? Kimonos! I did hear that. I'm not going to stutter, though. 
That's it. Aren't you getting worked up about this a bit too early? Sorry. You know, it's just I was here by myself for so long. My, <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to keep my mind occupied here. Huh? You're the only one who's not psyched for Kima Notion! Kima Notion? Why are you turning this on me? Although I must say, seeing Rosette in a kimono would be quite a sight. Would they be warm? Whoa. Maybe Naoto's in one too. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little... Hey, don't be saying that in front of Kanji. I'm sorry about the wait. Oh, here they are. Hello. Sorry. Damn, Chie, are your legs not cold? I mean, I know you like to show them off, but damn, girl. We went to buy some heating packs and ended up running late. We're sorry. I like all your outfits, though. Very good. Very stylish. Uh. Yukiko's got an adorable outfit. Huh. <laughs> What's that? Huh. All right. That's right. Hey, Yoka. Uh... What's with the non-reaction? Oh, well, these bozos don't realize that fantasy hardly matches reality. What? Where are your kimonos? <laughs> Why would I be in a kimono? We aren't going to be out long enough to bother with putting one on. What? We're staying up till midnight. We're going to be partying, guys. We solved the case. We cleared... The we saved the world, guys. We dispelled the fog. We battled a giant golf ball that has glowing lights on it, alright? Like it's the 80s. See? That's what I thought. I told you all that from the beginning. Uh, yeah, well... Ow! My ears! You got your hopes up on your own? Don't take it out on us! Hey, 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 hey! I didn't say that. I mean, I didn't say that when you guys were around. A girl has to save her best outfits for the moments that count the most. But all your outfits are the best, aren't they, Rize? You are the idol. Huh? A kimono's one of a girl's best outfits? Wait, you're implying that you're out of our league. Again, she is a pop idol. <laughs> she wasn't implying. Holy shit, that was ice cold from Yukiko. She wasn't implying. She said it so sternly. Holy shit. Hopefully 2012 is our year, guys. My heart just froze over. I mean, for you guys, Yukiko's already my girlfriend. We had cake together. She stayed the night at my place. Pretending she was at Chie's, you know? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Uh, I shouldn't be uh, bragging. Yeah, um, get jelly. shouldn't we be more mindful of the time? If we don't hurry, we'll have to do the countdown here at the entrance. Oh, wow, how late is it? It must be like 1158 or something. Oh, no! We're going to miss the two-year shrine visit! Oh, God, and I'm only here for the year. Let's this go. This is my first time being with friends on midnight of New Year's Day. Aw. I wonder if Rize's like... Busy performing a gig or something. I'd always just spent it with everyone at the inn until last year. Actually, hmm. I'm glad we were all able to celebrate today here peacefully. Yeah, otherwise we'd be ushering in a world full of shadows if we didn't act. Yeah. Because they would have been coming in the new year. All right? right, everyone, let's get going. Let's not miss the countdown, guys. Come on. Ooh, anime. <laughs> Love it. Still makes me cold. They're handing out Amazaki over there. Let's uh, dance. Uh, not till near. Hey, how what? long till next year? Uh, oh. Do you celebrate New Year's, Teddy, oh, in the TV world? It's almost time. Okay. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. <laughs> hey, we're not dead. Thank you. <laughs> Happy New Year. No, none for you, Rise. What? And the same goes for you, Yukiko. Oh, come on, just let it go. <laughs> Here comes the snow. Oh, it's snowing. Wow, perfect timing. Wow. Thank you, God of Snow. I told you it was cold. Do you think the snow will pile up? I think the God of Fog told him to do it. Huh. No one calls it that. It's a new year, but you're still Naranji. What? Moranji. Oh. What? Hey, hey, what are you nodding for? <laughs> Moranji! Shut up! <laughs> Life is good. 2012.
attacking group has crossed the big show of bridge and they're using their final kick as they prepare to hand off. Oh, wow. Sounds exciting. The runners for the next leg wait for their turn to don the sash and run. This relay point was changed in 2009. Oh, 2009. Simpler times. I think that was my final year of high school. God, I'm old. Oh, God. <laughs> this is depressing. Hello. Ah, there you are. Sorry, it was a rowdy party last night. Got, uh, got, I, I slept at the shrine. All right. But the fox made improvements. It actually had a king size bed somewhere. It's what I wished for. Ooh, fade to black. Yes, it's finally warm. All right. Are we ready then? Happy New Year. What? Happy New Year is supposed to be the first thing you say to someone when you, like, see them. Not like, oh, you're here. Hang on, let's get ready. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Happy New Year, family. <laughs> you know? It's not the same. Happy New Year! Oh, Happy New Year, Nanako. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, big bro. Happy New Year to you too, too, little sis. Are we just gonna keep going around in circles? What about you, Uncle Dojima? Will probably still be a bit of a pain for you, but may things go well this year. Ah, oh, you're not a pain in the ass, Tojima. Not one bit. I love you guys. In any case, you've changed over this past year. I mean, yes, I did uh, fight a killer and had some personas save some lives, you know? I mean, I really went grey because of it. You've got a man's face now. I didn't see you while I was hospitalized, and that's what made me notice. Hmm. Well, I'll take it. Thank you. I feel relieved, since so much happened. I bet you do. Your daughter literally came back to life. And, well, at least now you know to appreciate what you have, right? Leave it to me. <laughs> Looks like you got your personality from my sister. Oh, God, wait till I tell Mom about what I've been through. She's just gonna laugh it off. She's gonna think you gave me drugs Dad, or something. can we eat yet? Wait, son, you went into a TV? That's, that's Dad talking. You went into a TV and saved lives? What the hell did my brother-in-law feed you? All right, let's dig in. We're about to find out what he feeds us. Man, I can't thank those guys working the holiday at Jeunesse enough. I wandered over there and they even had New Year's food. Thanks, Yosuke, and thanks, Teddy. Thanks for the food! <laughs> Let's eat. Nanako, what do you want to eat? I'll get it for you. Uh... Uh... Kuburaki! Ah, uh, let me get it, Uncle. You're obviously still in pain. The time spent with your family passes by. Can't always be with friends, you know? Spend some time with your loved ones. It seems the Dojima family won't be going to pay their first visit of the year to the shrine in consideration of Nanako's condition. They'll have to send me, the errand boy, to do it. You received one messages. Happy New Year. I hope that we will get along this year as well. Oh, oh is that what I'm supposed to say to my wife on New Year? I hope that we're, we're still going to be friends. <laughs> Surely. You know, crossing my fingers. I'm going to the shrine to make sure of it. If you have any time today, why don't we go and pay our first visit to the shrine? It's just the two of us. Go to the shrine with Yukiko. Oh, I suppose she does have a point if I'm going to be moving back in March, so, yeah. You decide to go to the shrine with Yukiko. Go to the shrine. Let's do it. Be one with the shrine. Alright. Tatsuhime Shrine. See, they're wearing komodos. I bet they're only out here for five minutes because it's so cold and they're only making a wish. It appears that Yukiko hasn't arrived yet. Of course. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is it a kimono? Oh, it is! Oh, Yukiko. Damn. You're not implying anything this time. Were you waiting long? I hope not. Wow, you look great. Amazing. I was not waiting long. I couldn't decide which kimono to wear since I thought you'd notice the smell of mothballs. Uh, it didn't cross my mind, but now that you mention it, sure, I can... Detect a bit of a scent on How you. How do I look? Although, I'm always wearing a kimono, so it might not be all that different than usual for you. Always? I mean, I just never see it because I never go to the inn. Uh, you look great in it. This kind of kimono is completely different from the ones I usually wear. 
so I'm not used to wearing it. <laughs> if I say that it's beautiful, I'm complimenting the kimono. But if I say you look great in it, I'm complimenting her in the outfit. So there you go. Take notes, lads. <laughs> but I'm glad that you like it. It's all about the choice of words. Yukiko is blushing. Of course, it's not like you have a multi-choice box every Many time. Many people talk to me on my way here. A lot of them life. were our regular customers and our suppliers. Oh. I guess they thought I was working since I was wearing a kimono. They all told me it must be tough to have to work today. Hmm. I think this is the first time I've been hiding something from everyone in the shopping district. <laughs> but for some reason it felt... exciting. <laughs> like a little rebel, aren't and you? My heart's pounding even more right now. <laughs> oh gosh, she can be so adorable. Yep, let's shuffle, let's shuffle forward real quick. What wish will you make today? What wish will I make today? What wish will I make? Uh, may both of us attain happiness. Me too. Oh, what a coincidence. I feel really happy right now. Let's keep it that way. Please heed our earnest wishes, God. Fox will be happy. Do you want to draw fortunes? Uh, as long as it's not I, Ebihara, okay? Because honestly, that woman is a handful. Alright, let's do it. Hmm. I like how we just stared at each other as we walked up towards the fortune box. What if I tripped over and banged my head on it? There's a box holding Obikuji. Sealed fortunes placed in front of the shrine. Pick one. <laughs> Think in pure thoughts. I'm a good... Let's let's start 2012 on a good note, okay? Let's not, you know, ruin it straight away. It's only our first day. We can surely go a week or so. Pick one without thinking. Your fortune says, medium blessing. I got a small blessing. Looks like I'm a step behind you. I've been getting those all year, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> that might not be so bad. I do like your back, after all. Oh, smooth. Damn. Well... Oh, I shouldn't say that. We're only talking about fortunes right now. Okay, well, she was obviously thinking impure thoughts when she drew her fortune. Yukiko was blushing. At least she didn't comment about the small part of the blessing. Let's go. <laughs> Our visit to the shrine went by in a flash. Mm. Enjoyable times always end so quickly. The night comes so much faster when I'm with you. I think it's just because it's winter, to be honest. But yes, absolutely. I never thought such things before. When I'm with you, I experience so many new things. That's good, though. I'm glad that I can give you new experiences, Yukiko. Because you do seem like you live a somewhat sheltered life. You're always working at the inn, and you feel like you're protected, having to stay in the town. So I'm kind of glad that you got to spread your wings in 2011, and I hope you continue to do so. Do you want to go to a cafe or something? Oh, but it's still the first three days of the new year. Cafes may not be open. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that. So, here in New Zealand, we have New Year's Day and we have the day after New Year's Day as public holidays. So in Japan, there's three days? I see. Let's just go to your house then. I've got I'm to... I'm sorry. It's New Year's today, so the inn's busy with parties. I figured it would be, but uh, unfortunately I do have some hospital patients at my place, and I don't want to disturb them so If much. I was there, I wouldn't be able to keep you company, and you'd probably get forced into helping, too. Oh, no, no, no. I want to enjoy my time off. I mean, I'm only here for three more months. It's fine. Then the chefs would start saying things like, I should bake you my husband. <laughs> those jokesters. Jeez. Jesters of shifts. Why don't we walk around and look for a shop that's open? Warm drinks taste better when you're cold anyway. Yeah, let's go. Wanna help me finish the mega beef bowl? I'm just gonna keep staring at you as we walk. <laughs> you spent a long time together with Yukiko. That was very pleasant. I enjoyed that. You're back. So you're home. I am. I made it back. Don't worry. Uh, what are you up to? Big bro. Um, happy New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> You told me that earlier. She did tell me that earlier. Happy New Year's. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Watching TV and a kotatsu with everyone? New Year's is so much fun! <laughs> yes! Watching TV on New Year's. Can you think of anything better? What's your New Year's resolution? Resolution? 
Is that like a goal? Um, then I'm gonna get first place in running. <laughs> Watching TV in a kotatsu with everyone. New Year's is so much fun. Yeah, well, if you're gonna come first in running, you can't be watching TV all the time, Nanako. I'm gonna hold you to that, at least for the first quarter of the year. Huh, right. There was, uh, something I was going to give you. Here, make sure you use it carefully. Kojima gave you a New Year's gift envelope. You find 30,000 yen inside it. <laughs> there's no need to hold back. Doing this is supposed to make the giver happy, too. I make Nanako save her money every year, but maybe I should let her use it as she wants pretty soon. Well, let's do our best this year, too. Yeah, Dojima, this is all your sick pay that you would have gotten from being in the hospital for so long. You, you didn't have to. Honestly. That does feel good, though. I suppose he is really grateful. Nothing catches your eye, of course. Let's, uh, let's head on upstairs. It's New Year's. You should return to your room and relax. Rest. No tutoring tonight. The second, snow continuing to fall. Wow, we. Look at that. Oh, Nanako has a little Whoa, winter outfit too. Look at all the snow. Lots of snow. Looks like we got a lot of snowfall this year, huh? Damn it, Ojima. Those arms of yours keeping you warm, huh? And the cigarette. Hey, I want to make a snowman. Of course, I'll help you. A snowman, huh? I'd help you make one, but the doctor told me to avoid bending over so that my back would heal up. What about kneeling? Not that I should be pushing you to doing this against doctor's orders. What about you, big bro? Let's make one together. Yay! <laughs> Nanako, don't get too worked up, alright? You'll get sick and have to stay at the doctor's for a long time. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry, I'll make sure she stays warm. If you get cold, come right in. Can you promise that? Don't be stubborn like your old man. Big bro, that's amazing! Oh, it's alright. <laughs> you know. How did you get it so big? I just rolled it for a very long time. I actually started at the end of the street. You need strength, you need guts. Because I'm an adult. An adult is amazing. Uh, yeah. You're not allowed to visit a dodgy. Ever. <laughs> He's not allowed to tell you anything. When I become an adult, let's make a huge snowman together. I'll hold you to that, Nanako. Nanako seems happy. Oh, nice. A little bond note there. All right, I think you two have done enough. I've done jack shit. I've made a snowball, Dojima. And she has also made a snowball. Where's the snowman? Do you see a man anywhere? I mean, yes, I have the man's face. I mean, a snowman. Let me help now. I think I can take it home from here. What? You cannot even literally bend over. That's not fair. <laughs> hey, don't be like that. It wouldn't hurt to share some credit. Oh, you just want to feel good about yourself after I did all the heavy lifting. Oh, and Nanako did some too. Let's not discredit her. There. Okay. It's small, but it's come together well. It's done! Uh, well, Nanako says it's done, <laughs> so I guess it is. It still needs a face, though. We should draw one for it. Please, can we give it a face? We're gonna draw a face? Yes. Make it look like Teddy. Hey, Big Bro, I want it to look like Teddy. She knows. She knows. She is on my wavelength. Can you make the face look like Teddy? Uh, do we want to? That's the question. Which Teddy? Shadow Teddy? <laughs> you decide to adapt the snowman in a Teddy-like way. I hope it doesn't come to life, or a human gets grown inside. It's a Teddy man! <laughs> it looks so cool! I... <sighs> God, it looks like one of the pancakes my wife makes. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's not bad, I suppose. But, you know, when night falls and you see that thing chilling outside your house, God, you're gonna cause a car accident. You're pretty good. Good for you, Nanako. Nice. Thanks, big bro. You're welcome. 
Nanako is very happy. You're glad that you put effort into it. If we don't go in soon, you'll catch a cold. I mean, you're setting a bad example there, Dojima. Aww, already? Yeah. I mean, you are still recovering, Nanako. I'll make you something hot to drink. Well, it'll just be coffee. Yeah, then you can bounce around the walls. Okay, make it sweet for me. Of course we do. What is it, four sugars? <laughs> that was how I used to have to drink coffee back when I was a amateur. Now I drink it black, baby. Hey, what are you going to do about your New Year's greetings? It's good to relax, but shouldn't you go say hello to all your friends? You feel that you're sure to run into someone if you go out. Will you go out? Nah, I'm just gonna go to bed. No, of course. Of course we're going out. Goodness. I'm going back to the hospital tomorrow. Even though there's nothing wrong with me anymore. Oh, you don't have to look sad. That's a good thing that there's nothing wrong with you, Nanako. And this is just to clear you. But I'll be a good girl there. When I come back, let's make another snowman. Let's do it. Let's do it with all our friends, eh? Nanako and I are going to go back to the hospital for a while tomorrow. I'm sorry to keep relying on you. But I'll be counting on you. Don't worry, Dojima, I'm on the job. Go out until evening? Yes. You're still selling seedlings in this climate. Alright. Ah, happy New Year's. It's sure snowing a lot, isn't it? Bet this is something you don't see much in the big city. It may be cold, but don't you think it's soothing too? I'm planning on taking the first three days of the New Year off to recharge my batteries for the rest of the year. Hope to do business with you then too, mister. Oh, okay, so you're just advertising, are you? Looks like she finally made the dinner she always wanted for her mother-in-law. That's good to see. Oh, what a nice, soothing tune this is. Whoops, took a wrong turn somewhere, ended up at school. <laughs> the gate is closed. School is closed because of winter break. Thank God. Hello, oh, Yumi's here. Hello. Oh, Sokun. Happy New Year's. Wow, I still can't believe that a whole new year has already started. In no time I'll become a third year. Take college entrance exams. And then in the blink of an eye, I'm graduating. Oh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be so negative on New Year's. What, graduating is negative now? Happy New Year! I just need to slow down and cherish each day of my life. So, I hope this year is a great one for the both of us. There are still others that you met last year whom you haven't greeted. You should go greet them. Yeah, okay, well, since I have to greet other people, Yumi, I'll see you later. Maybe, hopefully. Yukiko, I've already greeted you, but let me just do it again in front of the other girls, eh? Happy New Year! Oh, so good. Happy New Year. Wait, uh, I've already said that so many times this year. But I didn't think I'd see you today, too. That makes me happy. Let's go somewhere together again. It's winter break, so it might be nice to go on a trip with you. There are still others that you met last year. You should go greet them. Another trip. Yep, as long as someone else is preparing the food. Oh, Shu is out here as well. Happy New hey, Year! Kid. Happy New Year's! Let's make this one a great year too, Sokun. We went through a ton of stuff last year, but I'm glad we're all safe and ready to ring in the new year together. Oh yeah, this year, instead of cutting the rice cake, let's cut and eat steak. It's practically the same thing, right? Yosuke seems to be planning something for winter break. He said we should all go out and have fun. Alright, well, I'm counting on my partner to sit up a exciting trip somewhere, Happy new I'm sure. Year. Senpai, I hope this year is awesome for you. I like New Year's. It's calm and quiet, but exciting at the same time. I feel like we had a pretty good year last year. I hope to have tons of fun with you and all the others this year, too. Let's make this year even better than the last. Yeah, Rize had a great year last year. She quit idling and she got kidnapped. Could you ask for a more perfect year? <laughs> all right, Chu, how you going? Still studying, I hope? Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year. You sound so excited. It feels odd to run into each other like this in town. We always met in my room, after all. I feel a little nervous right now. <laughs> Why? Hey, I met you last year, out-of-towner. Man, that's a lot of snow. It's a wonderful winter review. Speaking of snow, I saw the Egyptian woman at the shrine on New Year's. Just get together with her already. She was dressed the same as ever, so she really stood out. She didn't seem to care much about that, though. And honestly? She looked uh, surprisingly good against that snowy backdrop. <sighs> I wish I could be like her. You're wearing a suit. You're not even trying to be like her. <laughs> you know, she wears an outlandish outfit and you're wearing something so plain. I... Hey! What are you doing here on New Year's? 
Oh, yeah, you live around here. Yes, I'm a peasant, sorry. Well, Happy New Year's. It's such a generic greeting, but I might as well say it. Wandering around like this isn't so bad every once in a while. Well, see you around sometime. There's still others that you met last year you haven't greeted. Let's find them. One day, this year, my New Year's resolution is to finish that bowl. Hey, Ko, why are you wearing your school uniform? Happy New Year! Yo, so, Happy New Year's. I love this time of year. You feel that in the air? That's the feeling of perfect relaxation. But I think I'll go back home. There's so much New Year's food there, I feel like I'm bulking up. But I'm starting to miss Aya, you know? I'm gonna have to drag Daisuke there one of these days. <laughs> You'd better come with us too, alright? Anyway, let's make this a great year. Let's do it. What is this over here? Goodness. Someone's clearing the road really well. Hello. It's quite chilly this year. Though, I say that every year. Maybe it's because I stay home all the time during New Year's. Well, why not, as long as I get all my shopping done? New Year's dishes last long enough that I don't need to use the kitchen much during that time. Oh yeah, that's a good thing about Christmas, to be honest. We get a big feast that we inevitably cannot finish, and we have to keep for leftovers <laughs> for the next couple of days. Happy New Year! Yo, Senpai! Happy New Year's! With the fog, I'm feeling pretty good about this next year. I was bored on New Year's Day, so I went out on my bike. Then I got lost and ended up in the mountains. How? <laughs> but this kind of snow is no problem for me, so we should go somewhere again. I mean, it's not like it's foggy or anything. How the heck did you get lost and end up at the mountains? I'll follow you wherever you want this year, too. So let's make it a kick-ass year. You come into the city with me and come March? <laughs> I'll be happy to take you along, Kanji. Hey, where are you running off to, carefree guy? Yo! Well, I guess I should greet you, too. Happy New Year! I got bored of watching TV, so I'm taking a walk outside. I can't stand this boredom. If my friend was free, I would have gone skiing with him. Oh, well. Guess I'll go check out the bookstore. Pretty sure it's closed. Okay, just keep walking then. All good. We'll figure it out. Naoki? Um... Hello. I I'm... Uh, I'm currently in mourning, so I can't really... The town gets so quiet on New Year's. But for some reason, there's still this warm atmosphere about it. I wonder if it's the warm aura of all the happy families spreading out from their homes into the streets. Hmm. Still, uh, still mourning, huh? Come to think of it, what has happened to the fox? I mean, a couple, uh, four more months and we're gonna approach Saki's anniversary death. Jeez, time really has flying, uh, flown past. You should summon the fox at the main building of the shrine. Yeah, let's summon the fox. Can't wait to give him my New Year's greeting. Hey, Happy New Year! Enjoying your winter break. It's a challenge, preparing for the new term, but... Whew, I can't wait for school to start. I keep thinking about how my students are doing. Hope none of them caught a cold. Yeah, that would be a terrible shame if they came to school sick. Yo, check it out! It's now as far as the eye can see. But no matter how cold it gets, I'll keep riding like the wind. I've got spiked tires and a demon's drive to obey the speed limit. I'm a true biker through and through. Yeah. <laughs> to the shrine! Oh, Foxy Fox. This is the shrine's main building, what will you do? Uh, do I call the fox? Hang on, let's wait. Let's go to the floodplains first. See what the uh, river looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, Harry, I'm sorry I kind of just quit my daycare job in the middle of the year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh, hello there. Happy New Year's. Thank you for all your help last year. I hope this year will be wonderful for you. While well, I need to finish shopping and head back, my relatives are coming over to visit. I haven't met up with some of them in a while, so I'm feeling a little nervous. Oh, well, I hope everything's fine. Yeah, see, so it's gonna keep asking me about the fox. I feel like that would have ended the day, so good call on coming to the floodplains. It's New Year's, but things are busy inside the house. I can't even sit and watch TV. My daughter's still not back to full strength yet. So I've been doing the cooking, cleaning, and laundry. I really hope she gets well enough to do these things herself soon. Oh yeah, that must suck for an old woman like you. Hmm. Hey, how's business? Hey, Happy New Year. Hope you continue to visit Sozai Daigaku this year too. My wife suddenly collapsed the other day. The doctors gave her an IV and sent her home, but said she's overexerting herself. Man, kind man just has a lot to spill on. <laughs> spill to me. 
you know, you'd think this that kind of stuff you'd keep private, but I suppose he has no one else to talk to about it. She's gotten better, but she still needs to be resting. She went back to work anyway, though. But it's New Year's. She should take this opportunity to get some rest. I don't want her to relapse, but she says that her job is the only reason she has for living. Oh. Oh, dear. So, you're not a reason? Hmm. Hello, kitty cat. Meep. Yeah, that's right. No fish for you. Now it's Happy old. New Year. I feel as though time has gone by faster since the new year began. The case is over, and I have nothing left to accomplish here. But I thought, well, I may as well enjoy a normal life with the rest of you. We are not normal, <laughs> but uh, I'm glad you think so. So, once again, may this year be fruitful for us both, Senpai. There's still others you haven't met. The fox is still around. Let's go to the riverbank. Oh, hello, Hisano. My. Oh, so, John. <laughs> what a coincidence. I happened to come back with my grandchildren to visit my husband's grave. I'm sorry. I'm currently in mourning, so I can't do a New Year's greeting with you. Ah, I see, so maybe that's a thing where you don't greet people on New Year's if you're in mourning, so she's doing it, Naoki's doing it. Happy New Year! But I'm glad we were able to meet. It's too bad that we can't have a chat right now, but my grandchildren are waiting. But I'm sure that time will come again. When that time comes, let's talk again. All right, we will. I promise. There's nothing more I could do for you. You're a real master fisherman now. Is there something you still want to know? I just wanted to say Happy New Year, man. Jeez. New Year's greetings take priority today. Sorry, Guardian. Oh, there's no snow out here in Shichiri City. Shichiri City? <laughs> Shichiri Beach. Unless I'm going to an Atlant Atlantis-esque town. New Year's greetings take priority today. Bit of snow out here in Okina, though. Let's see how the uh, local townsfolk are handling things. Why, hello. Happy New Year's. I'm exhausted from all the year-end work. Good thing I kept busy, though. Wouldn't want to waste my time. I went back to my parents for New Year's, although I was only there a couple of days. My parents have the most horrific fashion sense. I wanted to give them something that's more... in. I thought these New Year's sales going on everywhere would be the perfect chance. If only Croco Fur would hold one. Really? They're not having a sale? Damn. It's his bargain, though. You'd think that they are. Well, Happy New Year to you. Croco Fur is the most fashionable store around here, isn't it? I mean, I did get Dojima's uniform, so yes, it is quite fashionable. I'm disappointed they don't have any New Year's sales. God, they're not winning many fans, are they? Hey, Happy New Year. Had a relaxing time with my family over the holidays. It's been a while since I had a nice break like that. It was all thanks to my family. I'm here today with my family. No, it's not like I can buy anything for my kids. But seeing the excitement on their faces makes me want to work harder. Hmm, interesting. Happy New Year. I didn't think I'd ring in the new year like this. It's been a while since I was on solid ground this time of year. What do I really want to do? I don't know, but I have to go. Okay. You say as you stand fixed in place, of course. I'm not going to try and win a Jack Frost doll. Happy New Year! You must really like movies to be here so early in the year. <laughs> yes, I love movies so much I have to go to the cinemas on January 1st every year. It's, it's an absolute must. I like DVDs, but there are certain films that deserve to be seen on the big screen. I hope you and me will both be able to catch some amazing films this year. Yeah, hopefully they make some good films next year, considering filming halted for quite some time. Hello, boys. It's already New Year's. I was supposed to get so much more done last year. Well, it's the new year. You can get a head start now. Right? So, when should I ask that girl about the movie? Who cares? If we don't go soon, the limited edition red bean flavored popcorn is going to sell out. <laughs> Hungry Man is back. New Year. This is the Okina Station office. Can I help you? I didn't think that the serial killer would be a police detective. I know. It could have been you. Too shocked for words. Why? Or why, sorry. <laughs> I thought he was going to tell me why he was shocked for words. Hey, kid. Happy New Year. Congrats. You got a lot of energy to be riding around on your bike this early in the year. 
I hear Inuma got a lot of snow. I'm jelly. What, what's this on our, at our feet right now, you know? What do you come visit? Awesome. I'll go if you'll be my tour guide. <laughs> Speaking of snow, the cottage at the ski resort has sightings. Sightings of what? Freaking, <laughs> like, chupacabra? Sightings of what? No, never mind. Don't feel like you have time to explain. <laughs> right, let's leave Creepy Girl alone. And I think let's go visit the fox. No, wait, Juness. Final stop. Of course, my two best friends in the whole wide world. Happy New Year! Oh, Sensei! Happy New Year! I got New Year's gifts! Yosuke's mom and dad gave them to me! Now I can buy tons of snacks! Or so I thought, but I might save it for a while. I'm gonna use it to buy presents for Nanachan so we can all have fun together. May this year be as great as the last one! Oh, I hope so. I certainly hope so. Happy New I'm Year! I'm going back to the city. Yo, Happy New Year's. Man, New Year's already. This year went by way too fast. Well, that just shows how awesome we did last year. We solved the case after all. All that's left is to have some fun with the group with the time we have left. I've already thought up some plans for the winter break. <laughs> You're gonna be a part of it, like it or not. Let's make this year a great one too, partner. All right, I'm looking forward to your plans, Yosuke. For now, let's go pay a visit to the fox. All right, fox, I'm here. Should I say Happy New Year's to the bugs? Are they around? All of the leaves of the tree have fallen off. No, well, that's sad. I didn't get to speak with some of the other people I met last year, like, did Aaron Boy get together with the Spacey Girl? Did uh, the big guy's grandmother pull through at the hospital? What about the guy visiting his cousin at the hospital as well? You know, so many questions left unanswered. This is Shrine's main building, what will you do? Call the fox. What about the kid who was trying to decide between two girls and he just wanted to play soccer with the, with the lads? He made sure there was no one around and called for the fox. Yeah, can't be seen conversing with the fox. Even though I literally bring him to Juness and throw him through the TV. You bid the fox a happy new year. The fox seems happy. Alright. There we go. Yes, I put some coins in. The fox is gleefully looking at the offering box. What, you want a bigger, more amazing shrine? Jeez, you're gonna have to hire someone else to be your errand boy. It seems quite a lot of people left offerings on their first visit of the year. You part with the ecstatic fox and decide to leave. There are others with whom you have become acquainted over the past year. You should greet them. Come to think of it, you have yet to greet Sayoko. Though she has left the hospital, you should visit the place where you spent time with her. You can get to Inaba Municipal Hospital from the bus stop at the shopping district. Sure, let's just greet everyone at the hospital as well. Alright, so I was wrong about the fact that the fox was going to end the day. Um, but that's okay. That's a good time to be wrong. So the bus stop, where do you want to go? We're not going to Shu's place. We already greeted him. Let's go to the hospital. On the off chance that Sayoko is here. Inaba Municipal Hospital. You wonder where Sayoko went after quitting her job here. Hmm. So, would she be around town if I hadn't maxed out my social link, perhaps? Hmm? Aren't you the boy who was working here part-time? I still am, I just haven't shown up for quite some time. Are you wondering about Sayoko-san? Who knows where she is now? Although a New Year's card did get delivered here to the hospital. It didn't say where she was, but from the sound of things, she's studying hard and doing well. I'm glad that she's alive, although I kind of knew that because apparently there's a reference to Sayako in Persona 5, uh, which is interesting and cool. Oh, it had a little note for you too. I think it was, let's both do our best. Oh, me specifically. You wonder if Sayako is ringing in the New Year somewhere, though there seems to be little doubt that she's well. You decide to return to town. There are others with whom you have become acquainted over the past year, you should greet them. Come to think of it, you have yet to greet Marie and Margaret. You should visit the Velvet Room. I should. Wait, this wasn't here before, was it? I'm pretty sure, like, Chie was standing here or something. Guess we're going. The case has been solved. I suppose I have to return Welcome my key. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What business do you have here? Uh, Happy New Year to you, too, Margaret. Jeez. To say Happy New Year. My, quite formal of you. Well, this is a very fancy limousine, Margaret. I mean, I could be just chilling out here in shorts and a t-shirt, eating pizza, slobbering all over myself. But, you know, it wouldn't fit with the vibe of this velvet room, you know? 
I'm a very classy guy since the velvet room supposedly represents my heart. <laughs> I did not realize that the year had passed. After all, this room is distance from time. Yeah, do you even know what a year is? Ah, <laughs> uh, I remember now. I have something I must tell you. Oh, it better be Happy New Year. Marie has left this room. Wait, what? Why? I suppose that means that her purpose here has come to an end. What was her purpose here? To just write poems all day? Why did she leave? I do not know everything. Where did she go? This room is tightly bound to your fate. And she's not part of my fate anymore? My master selects the scenery and even the other residents to match the fate of our occasional customers. And we always change. Wait, customers? I have to pay for this? You may have already noticed, but it was you who ushered her here. Is it because I met her very first thing in the game? She arrived in this place not long after you first visited this room. So what was that all about? I honestly cannot remember. I vaguely remember meeting her at the train station. She dropped something? Oh no, I dropped something, I think, and she picked it up and gave it to me. And then, what, she ended up in here? With a different outfit, I believe, as well. She had the hat on now. She didn't have the hat on at the beginning, did she? Oh god, so long, and I'm not allowed to rewatch things. All we did was provide a name and a role for her. Your fate led Marie here, and you forged a bond with her. I did. I'm not interested. Where did she go? I do not know either. However, if you wish, I can locate Marie and take you to her. Well, that would be nice. I must warn you, though. It may involve danger. What is your choice? So you just cast her out to danger? Of course I'm going. I don't care about danger. Very well. Please give me some time. Once I am prepared, I will come for you. Please wait until then. Oh, we're not driving there? Okay. Where did Marie go? Isn't this limousine outfitted with weapons and equipment? You decide to wait for Margaret to come for you. Oh. Okay. I'll, I'll wait then. Check on dwellers. Ask about Marie. Again. Are you wondering about Marie's whereabouts? You do not need to worry. Once I am prepared, I will lead you to her. Please wait until then. Okay, well... In that case, Happy New Year, Igor. You didn't say a word to me, but that's okay. I think there are extenuating circumstances. You've greeted all the people that you have become acquainted with over the last year. Return to your home? Yes. All right, I'm welcome back. back. Hey, welcome back. Your skin is clammy and cold after walking around all day. Well, well that's not good. Can I just sit here for a little bit under the kotatsu? You feel a chill. Did you catch a cold? You should return to your room and rest. Oh no, I'm sick. Uh-oh, I should stay away. Because these guys are going to the hospital tomorrow. Alright, come on. Let's get some rest. Early night tonight. The third. Looks like the holiday lasts for a little bit longer. It seems someone's at the door. Quick, grab the shotgun. i am still got PTSD. Oh, it's just you guys. Alright. It's fine. Happy New Year! Oh, wait. I already said that. You did, and I'm about to sneeze all over your face. I hope we get along this year, too! <laughs> But I already said that! <laughs> oh, yeah, you should be saying that to Yosuke. I don't know how much longer you're going to be employed at Juness. How many times have you been written up, huh? Sorry to drop by unannounced. I thought about calling you, but we were already in the area. Of course you were. Thank you for inviting me in! Hey, hey! There's people sick back there! You've got to wait for him to actually invite you in first. Sheesh. God, you're lucky you're not a vampire or something. Honestly, just wanted to use the kotatsu. Do you have any plans during the break? If you don't have anything lined up, why don't we go skiing? Skiing? Let's go skiing. I've never skied before. There are a lot of mountains in the area, to... and it seems that there are a lot of little ski resorts around here. I'd be happy to try it out, though. It'll be a cheap trip because it's local, and the snow quality is supposed to be pretty good, too. Well, yeah, sign me up. The girl's coming along. What do you think? Let's invite everyone. Actually, I've already asked Chie and Yukiko about their schedules. Okay. They're not everyone, but about uh, Naoto and Kanji and Rize. They both said that they're free too, so I'm going to start making serious plans for this. Ooh. Yukiko's usually busy during this season too. If she's free, I'm pretty sure everyone else should be able to come. True, true. Ooh, 
Ooh, another overnight event. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. This is our chance to forge a revenge plan. I'll leave ski tracks of love under the frigid sky. Oh, you're going to get ski tracks into the local jail cell, I'm hey, sure. Hey, Yosuke, <laughs> do we have a plan for our second chance at a surprise sneak in? As long as we don't get the wrong room again. Why are you assuming that we're going to try that again? What happened last time was bad enough. Exactly. We need another plan of attack. Something a lot better. Not plan A recycled. Teddy, we need an actual plan B. It ain't over till it's over. It's already over. It was over two months ago. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. I mean, stop bringing that up. We're talking about skiing here. I just realized a little smiley face in that TV unit over there. Interesting. Skiing? Oh, Nanako. Ah, you guys are here. Yeah, I didn't invite them in, by the way. They just barged in. Can we arrest them? Hello. Sorry for barging in. Oh, and Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Same to you. <laughs> it's so awkward. Oh, oh, Happy New Year. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah, of course. Well, we're gonna go now. Sorry, but I'm leaving you to fend for yourself for a while. I'll do my best. As long as Yosuke doesn't bring out his weapons again and you'll be forced to arrest him. We should be back by the middle of the month. The middle of the month? What? I thought you were just going for a checkup. What the heck is this? Are you going on a trip? Was it like a freaking hotel? Hospital? Nah, we're headed to the hospital. Nanako is only allowed to leave the hospital for New Year's. I need to take her back. But I thought she's all cleared. She just needs to get a checkup. Seriously? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned stuff like skiing at a time like this. It's alright. No, that's, that's okay. Nanako's getting better, but the doctor wants to be sure, just in case. No, I don't blame them. They couldn't describe Nanako's condition and she just miraculously got better. I'll be going along for physical therapy and to keep her company. Good dad. But with Adachi but behind bars and Dojima in the hospital, who's doing all the police work? You don't want there to be any germs hiding away inside you, do you? Oh yeah, those nasty little germs. Goodies. Don't worry. I'll be with you. It won't be for much longer, okay? Then you can watch all well, the TV then. you want. Sorry, but I'll have to count on you to look after the house. Yeah, it's fine. I'm used to it by now. See you, big bro! See you, Nanako. Get well soon! Poor Sensei, are you all alone at home again? I certainly am, Teddy. I know! No, we're not going to have some sort of orgy. I'll stay here with you until Nana-chan and Pops come back. Uh, okay, oh, you know what? This might get interesting. I wouldn't mind a roomie. Even if it is Teddy. Stay? Wait, do you plan on moving in? Don't be stupid. He already has to do all the housework. I can't saddle him with some burden like you. <laughs> he's treating Teddy like he's some kind of dog. Like, I can't let my dog stay at your house. So what can see here? No. It'll be terrible for you. Sensei, your life with me will be priceless. Oh, you sure you're not meaning worthless? I appreciate it. Wowee! Now that's my sensei! Don't make me regret this. You're agreeing just like that? It gets lonely, right? Jeez, you know what I had to do to survive a month without them? Man, I'm no kanji, but you seriously are an easygoing guy. <sighs> I mean, I'm just honestly too cool. I'm so cool that I keep my cool. Now that that's decided, I'm gonna go get my bear longings and some snacks. Your bear longings? Oh, snacks. Yeah. Man, he's out of our control. Yep, that's our Teddy. We wanted him to stay. Look, just let him spend one day here at least. Yeah, one day. If he bugs the hell out of you, you can send him back to me whenever you want. Sure, I'll just get Namatami to deliver him back, eh? And think about that ski trip. I'll send you an email once I've got all the details worked out. Oh, an email? You're not gonna text me? Okay. You're going to go skiing with the others. At the same time, Teddy will live with you while Dojima and Nanako are away. You hope things will be okay. <laughs> oh no, I hadn't anticipated this, otherwise I would have prayed for something different at the shrine. When Teddy returns with his belongings, or his bear longings, you spend time helping him unpack. Didn't even ask Dojima. 
Thanks for helping me unpack. You and me, sleeping under the same roof from now on. Yeah. You're watching TV. I'll stay with you until Nana-chan and Pops come home. Please don't call them Pops. Now you won't be lonely, Sensei. Don't try anything funny. What do you mean by anything funny? Oh, do you mean my morning titty robics? Titty robics? Oh, jeez. Is that how you stay so fit? Your chill seems to have gotten even worse at night. You should return to your room and rest. All right, Teddy, please don't nuke the kitchen. I'm gonna have a rest. You feel dizzy. What's going on? Your vision begins to waver. Teddy, I ain't feeling so good. The hell did you put in my dinner? Seriously? Did you drug me on your first night here? Oh, God. I collapsed at the stairs. Huh? Sister, sister, sensei? I bit my tongue doing that stammer. Ah. <laughs> you can hear Teddy's voice from far away. This is... Looks like I need to go to the hospital, too. Oh. Okay, um... I tucked him in, took his temperature. Next comes... Hmm. Oh, this calls for a cold pillow. Hang in there, Sensei. I am trying. I'm just staring at the ceiling like I'm dead inside. Your body feels heavy. Your vision blurs again. Marie. What's going on? This is... Is this Margaret coming back to me? It looks like you're having another dream. Well... What's up? I came... to say goodbye. It's been fun. You come to say goodbye? What? Why? Goodbye? You try to speak, but for some reason you are unable to. I'm sorry. Don't worry. The fog in your world is gone. I'm sure you will have a peaceful future. And you? What about you? Are you going to have a peaceful future? It's a shame I won't be there to see it. Why? Where are you going? <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad to have met you. No, Marie, you can't do this to me. I need answers. So, let me end this while I'm still happy. Goodbye. Oh, that's gonna suck so much, you know? <laughs> Saying... Ending something while you're still happy? God, what a what a sentence. Yeah, it's like it's like a game or a movie or a TV series where you know you want it to keep going on forever, but then they're like, no, no, we're gonna end it right here while it's still good. Because if it keeps dragging on, it's just gonna get worse and worse. But you know, I can't imagine doing it for a relationship. Like, oh man, we're good friends, so I'm gonna end our relationship before it gets sours. You know, it just that doesn't make sense, Marie. <laughs> Don't make that face. This is all for the best. No. What's going on? Goodbye. Your vision begins to waver. You feel lightheaded. It's like everything is being shrouded in darkness. Margaret? Find her now! Mm. He looks like he's in pain. Yeah, I think it's a cold. Winter around here can be pretty unforgiving. Hmm. Looks like the ski trip will have to be pushed back. There's no point in going without So after all. Oh, jeez. I mean, you guys can go without me. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna rest. So, why did you put him under a kotatsu? Isn't that supposed to be bad for you? Huh? Why not? A kotatsu's great when you're shivering from the cold. Uh, uh-huh. That's the cold, not... A cold. <laughs> oh, time skip. Hmm. Will Senpai be alright? Damn it. It's pissing me off that I can't do anything about this. It's fine, Kanji. It's, it's, I'm just sick, you know? It's just a bit of a cold that has me paralyzed under this kotatsu for the past couple of days, so maybe it's a maybe it's kinda serious. <sighs> he should be okay. The medicine I picked up from the hospital appears to be working. Yeah, at this point, shouldn't I just go to the hospital and just join my family there? It will still take a few more days, but Teddy is here to watch over him, so... Teddy, take care of Senpai for me. Of course! Leave it to Teddy! 
I've been sleeping with him every night. <laughs> oh, great. Magical. No wonder I'm feeling worse. <sighs> Fat lot of help that is. Yeah, he probably smothers me and I can't breathe. It just blocks my nasal, nasal passages. The night. Oh, man, school? Tomorrow? Oh, we've swapped. You've been bedridden for a while, but it seems you finally recovered. Teddy, what the hell is this starfish sleeping pose? Sensei, don't worry. You have me. It would seem that Teddy has been taking care of you. This is how he's been taking care of me? Oh, shh. Keep the noise down. Teddy's asleep. Good evening. Oh, you're just gonna phone me up. I see. I apologize for disturbing your night. There is something I must inform you about Marie, so I decided to contact you directly. I had a dream about her. A dream? Hmm, I see. Perhaps that has something to do with Marie's departure. Unfortunately, I have yet to pinpoint her location. So why are you calling me? However, there is something I have discovered. Do you remember what I said before? I told you that if I led you to Marie, it may lead to danger. I am concerned that this may turn out to be true. It is most likely that her destination is not found in the realm of man. I believe it will be a true test of your persona powers. Oh? Back into the TV world, are we? Even though the Midnight Channel doesn't exist anymore? So, until I come for you, I would suggest that you work to further your bonds with others. Gather your personas in the time you have, so that you can be ready when the time comes. I am level 85, I don't know how much further we can go. I mean, obviously, to 99, but in the time I have left, okay? Now, if you would excuse me. Okay. Alright. It seems Marie is in a very dangerous place. That's not good. You should work to strengthen your bonds with your friends until Margaret comes for you. Looks like we got extra time for social links. And Teddy's dead on the floor. You carry Teddy to bed and decide to rest for the day. I don't slip him under the kotatsu like some lazy ass person who's trying to care take care of someone. The tenth. The third school term begins today. It seems that you fully recovered. Just in time. Sensei, I think you're okay now. Take care. You pull your winter clothes out of your dresser and leave for school. Obtained Midwinter Yasso. Ooh, wow. Yo! That's a snazzy school uniform I've got there. Damn, I love professional. Morning, so. Are you feeling better? I freaked out when Teddy told me how bad it was. You were kind of groaning that day when I went to see you, too. Well, even if we didn't plan it, I'm glad Teddy was there with you. He put everything he had into taking care of you. I'm sorry we couldn't go on the skiing trip, buddy. Did the ski trip get postponed? Huh? You heard about that already? Yeah, we're gonna hold off on that until another holiday. I'll set some of my New Year's money aside, so let's make our plans then. There's that block of holidays in February. I think that might be the time to do it. And I think Yukiko would be less busy as well. Even though it is the holidays. Dude's still late. It's the beginning of the term. Happy New Year, everybody! I sure hope that this year will be just as great as the last year. Mr. Moroka died, Mr. Kondo. Okay, are we gonna call that great? I suppose for some students it was. Did you all get to celebrate the New Year in the proper way? By that I mean, did you get to eat all the right foods? I had Zoni, Oseki, Osechi, and of course, the Toshikoshi noodles! You've got to have Toshikoshi while the calendar's changing. But I completely forgot to get the Kagami Mochi, even if you don't eat it. That's important too, right? I was in a rush, okay? But I figured that I can't be the only one who didn't ring in the new year right. So, Amagi! No, wait, you look like you'd know. Waku Senior! Yeah, it's not so Amagi, it's so Waku Senior. What's up? Tell me, what are you supposed to put on top of a Kagami Mochi? A coin. I just guessed that right away on instinct. Nope, that's not it. It's an orange. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Gold and gold coin and orange mixed up. 
Not just any orange, though. It's gotta be a bitter orange called a Dai Dai. That means several generations. Of course, it doesn't taste very good, but the symbolism of the thing is what matters here, you know? Did you all get this? Don't make the same mistake I did when next year comes around. You gave the incorrect answer. Way to start the new year off, so Waku Senior. The new term has begun. It's been a while since you've met everyone at school. What will you do today? Give them all my Happy New Year's greetings. Let's start. Thank you.